The Night After Christmas by an Unknown Author, read in English. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. "'Twas the night after Christmas, and all through the house not a creature was stirring, excepting a mouse. The stockings were flung in haste over the chair, for hopes of St. Nicholas were no longer there. The children were restlessly tossing in bed, for the pie and the candy were heavy as lead while mamma in her kerchief and i in my gown had just made up our minds that we would not lie down when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter i sprang from my chair to see what was the matter away to the window i went with a dash flung open the shutter and threw up the sash the moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the lustre of noonday to objects below when what to my long anxious eyes should appear but a horse and a sleigh both old-fashioned and queer with a little old driver so solemn and slow i knew at a glance it must be dr bro i drew in my head and was turning around when upstairs came the doctor with scarcely a sound he wore a thick overcoat made long ago and the beard on his chin was white with the snow he spoke a few words and went straight to his work he felt all the pulses, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, with a nod of his head to the chimney he goes, A spoonful of oil, ma'am, if you have it handy, no nuts and no raisins, no pies and no candy. These tender young stomachs cannot well digest all the sweets that they get, toys and books are the best. But I know my advice will not find many friends, for the custom of Christmas the other way tends. The fathers and mothers, and Santa Claus too, are exceedingly blind. Well, a good night to you. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, These feastings and candies make doctor's bills right. End of The Night After Christmas by an Unknown Author. Recording by Tricia G.